All right, everybody, so welcome to our first lesson on the large bead frame. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take a look at the bead frame and understand how to use it. So as we can see here on the left side, we have units, tens, and hundreds of the simple family, just like your WHM, units, tens, and hundreds of the thousands family, and then we have units of the millions family. So this actually has wires for each of the pieces of WHM. So I'm going to do a little bit of counting. If you've made one of these at home with the kit that I gave you, I want you to go ahead and start counting with me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start counting back from one so that we can all count together. Now, if you haven't, you're welcome to watch. I think it's good for you to watch and get some practice. And then if you'd like to make large bead frame, there are materials in the little library at school. Okay, so one unit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What just happened? Well, we know that these are units and these are tens. When they're all over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units. And we know that ten units equals one ten. So what I did was I exchanged my 10 units for 110. So let's do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let's pause for a minute. We have 10. We have 110 and six units, which equals the number 16. Do you see that? It even kind of looks like the number 16 just stacked on itself weird. A one and a six. Okay, so let's keep going. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So again, I, I had 20 over here, so I had to exchange. I had 110 and then 20 units up here, so I had to exchange for another 10. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now here we have to do something special. We know that 10 tens equals 100, so I'm gonna exchange these 10 tens for 100. So this says 100 on there. One hundred, zero tens, zero units, okay? And that's how you count. I would encourage you to keep practicing counting if you need to, and don't forget you're exchanging, okay? It's really important that when you go nine, 10, that you bring this over, instead of just saying 10, 
and then not bringing anything over because now your frame says zero. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to put a couple numbers up on the frame right now. Okay, so this is the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I'm gonna put the number 36. How many tens are in the number 36? Well, we can skip count by 10. 10, 20, 30. Three. 10, 20, 30. And I wanted 36. So we have three tens, and how many units are in the number 36? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 36. Now, we can also count it out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So we got the same thing with both of them, but it's a lot faster to ask yourself, okay, how many tens? in this number and how many units. So let's do another one. So I want to do the number 52. So how many tens are in the number 52? Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And I wanted 52. So that's two units. 52. Like that. Let's do another one. What if I want the number 28? Well, 10, 20, and we need eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 28. Now, what if I wanted, let's step it up a notch. What if I wanted the number hmm, 374? 374. So, how many hundreds are in 374? Well, 100, 200, 300. Now I need 70, seven tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And I need four units. One, two, three, four. 374. Okay, so let's try to make the number 463. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and three units. One, two, three. There we go, 463. All right, we'll do one more of those. About 917. Ooh. So 100, 200, 300. 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 17. Well, how many tens are in 17? Let's picture it in our head. We would make the number 17 with a one in the tens place and a seven in the units place. So that means I just need one 10. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, 917. What if I wanted the number 3,917? Well, this is 917, 3,917. I need to add three thousands. One, two, three. This is 3,917. Let's do another one. What if I wanted the number 4,723? So one, two, three, 4,000. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 10, 20, 3, 4,723. There we go. Let's do another one. 7,999. Whoa. So 7,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7,000. 900, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 90, 9, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 9, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. What if I wanted the number 29,643? Well, let's first focus on this 29,000. 29. How many tens are in the number 29,000? 20. So 10, 20. Now we need 9,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 29,000. 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 3, 29,643. So what if I wanted the number 79,472? So let's think about that first, 79, Thousand. Let's just look at our thousands family first. 79. So I need 70. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 79,000. Oh my God. I should really be writing this down. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 400. 1, 2, 3, 400. 70, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 2, 1, 2. So 79,472. Okay, so what? Now let's go on to the next one. We only have two more wires left. What if I wanted the number 286,493? Hmm. Let's start just with our thousands family, okay? So 286,000. It's our thousands family, we're gonna use these three. So 286, how many hundreds are there? Two, so 100, 200. 286,000, so how many 10,000s are there in 286,000? So we need to get to 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, Miss McGee. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we have 280,000. We need 286,000. So we need six units of thousands. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right now we have 286,000 on our frame. Well, we need 286,493. So now let's look at our simple family, 493. How many hundreds do we need here in 493? We need four. So 100, 200, 300, 400. Now I need 493. So I need to put 90 on here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 493, so three units. So this says 286,000. 493. Okay, let's do one more big number. Okay, you ready for the big one? I'm going to do 4,670,000. Okay, so 4,678,874. Okay, so we're in the millions, so let's just look at our millions. 4,678,874, so 4 million. So 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, there we go. Now we need to look at our thousands family, 4,678,000. So 678,000, 678,000 has six hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 78, we need 70 in our 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then 8 units of thousands, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So right now we have 400, or, so right now we have 4,678,000, we need 874 in our simple family. 
four. So how many hundreds are in 874? Eight. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Okay. Now, 74. We need 70. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So, we have the number 4,678,800. 74. Good, good times, man. Good times. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice writing really big numbers and then trying to put them on here. Okay. And that is where we're going to stop for today. On Monday, we will do the next lesson using our large bead frame where I will introduce the paper to you as well as a different way of putting the numbers on so that we'll be completely ready for multiplication. So with this lesson, if you need to, you need to be count practicing your counting and exchanging, and you also need to be practicing putting large numbers on the bead frame. If you want, you can set up a time to Zoom with one of your other friends who has practiced this a lot. Maybe they can help you come up with some big numbers to put on there. They can help you out with that. Or if you want me to help you, I'm happy to help you too. Just shoot me an email. I'm happy to Zoom with you and help you make out your big numbers. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a great day.